Sandy Beach was packed for the season opening and annual ribbon cutting. Chair of the Parks and Recreation Commission, Bob Dubinsky explained the process and some of the new renovations at the park this year. Ready? Ready One, two, three. Thank you. My name is Bob Dubinsky. I'm chairman of Hopkinton Park and Rec, and we're on the uh, parcel of Sandy Beach, a project that embarked over the past four years from our department, large in part due to the credit of Ken Driscoll, our past chairman, past resident of Hopkinton, who's since moved into Boston. Ken and the commission recognized this was a parcel that was largely undeveloped, but largely used by the, the lake community and the residents of Hopkinton. So when embarking on this four-year project, the investment came from CPC funds and from a loan from the town. To complete the first two phases or stages of this project, the third stage yet to be embarked on is the redoing of the parking lot and accommodating more cars and trailers to go ahead and enjoy this jewel of Hopkinton. Oh great, so what were the first, uh, first few stages then? First few phases were, were in part to go ahead and clear the beach of a lot of the litter and uh, unneeded vegetation. We added sand to the, to the beach area, some 30 truckloads. And then the second phase was the building that's in front of us, which is the restrooms, the showers, uh, and the storage facilities that help support our summer camps, which take place from the end of school to the middle of August. We thought that if the uh, weather was gonna be nice, we needed to accommodate a large number of people, which are regular beachgoers, with our hot dog, ice cream, and uh, refreshments. We just look forward to, uh, as a Park and Rec Commission, to continue to serve the residents of Hopkinton and to support the residents of Hopkinton with their recreation and leisure activities. Some of the new features include new playground equipment, trails, an overlook of the lake, and handicap accessibility. The playground features a volleyball court and a gaga pit, as well as a octagon-shaped dodgeball pit. Michael Moonen of Weston and Sampson talked about some of the renovations. It was mainly taking a look at the program that they wanted uh, to fit on the site and then trying to preserve as much natural resources as possible. So um, we ended up doing a, uh, a layout that um, conveyed their needs, but also disturbed as little as possible on the site. Laura Hansen of the Parks and Recreation Commission talked about planning this season's opening event for Sandy Beach. I was tasked with this event just short, under two weeks ago. So um, basically we had to do figure out something that was easy and kid friendly and considering it was the beach that the entertainment park kind of took care of itself um, but then we thought you know what's easy to serve food wise chips hot dogs ice cream truck things that are kind of you know beach fun kind of things um, so basically that just involved you know talking to the board of health and talking to um, making sure that the beach was clean and I got a lot of community help on that. Um, people came out and cleaned up the beach and the, deep, uh, the police department came and made sure everything was safe and um, basically trying to get the selectmen and the dignitaries to come for the ribbon cutting ceremony. So basically, you know, shopping and all that party planning stuff. We had some bumps with Board of Health and the ice cream truck, but those worked itself out. Every, everybody was really helpful and um, gave me a lot of um, assistance and advice and stuff. So, um, so yeah, all, all, all things considered, it, it went pretty smoothly. So, and we got great weather. We did have to postpone. We were gonna have it on Sunday, but that was miserable. So, this is a much better day. <laughs> and how's the turnout? Totally awesome, actually. I was expecting about 200, and it's looking like we've got about that much, maybe a few more, so. So I'm very happy with the turnout. Lots of kids, which that's what I really wanted. And what are some of the other events that Parks and Rec might be doing this summer? Well, they have concerts on the Common every Sunday, and uh, they, they're going to have movie nights. Um, I definitely advise you to look on the Hopkinton Parks and Rec 
website. You can get that through the town website. And there's tons of events going on on the commons. Um, I don't know what else we have planned at Sandy Beach, but the beach is now open and staffed with lifeguards, so it's ready to go. All right, and do you need like a permit or anything to come to the beach? Yeah, uh, for Hopkinton residents, it's $30 a family, and senior citizens are free for the season.